Welcome back everyone for the next part, or rather the first bonus part before we go over the flashbacks. Um, or rather this video is going to be recorded after the flashbacks, but I'm going to upload it before the flashbacks. Just because I think uh, it's something really interesting that I really need to show. And yeah, first of all, uh, off screen when I was trying to get the 100% for myself, I noticed that there was a completely other tab in the most monster section. Right here. I uh, know. Right there. So I had to look it up because it seems weird that there was something like a streak. Uh, wait, uh, something like that. Since that indicates that I'm still missing something, you know? And that's why I was so free and checked out what that is. And uh, it doesn't really have a name. Okay? It doesn't really have a name. And the information is really, really interesting. So, I'm right here where the first memory is hidden. If you can see it, right underneath there. If I jump through here very carefully. Ah, I missed it. Oh well. It's a bit tricky to get inside because the water flow is getting in the way. But if you look right over there, there is an opening. And if you go through there, you're going to encounter some kind of guy like this one. With a white coat and a bubble egg hat. And if you scan his mind, then... Collect data, monster... Ba -ba 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 -ba. You're going to read this. Lord, bless us... Bless us with his spinal fluid. How precious, how glorious. We will find thy order. I mean, we will follow thy order. To bring you, O oh great lord, back to life. And uh, yeah, normally, that guy stays as a human. And if you go to the right pipe, there are two exits. The right pipe is just a... A dead end, but if you go through there and then back, you see how the head is gone from that professor, and then suddenly that thing manifests itself out of his corpse. It was super creepy, and I cannot go back because it's closed off after entering once. And if you die, you get some kind of glitch effect and appear where, where your last checkpoint was. Very interesting. Oh, I also got a crash two times because of it. Anyways, uh. That is the first location of those things. Now let's go to the second one. So the third location is a little bit more tricky. Since first of all, you need to go to this corner and then slowly but surely try to reach the top level of this area. Now it's a bit tricky because there are some spikes around which you do not wish to touch. Let's go over here then. And yeah, it's, it's so... It's... Uh, I mean, right now it's manageable, but soonish. I think right here I need to swap the sides. Then we need to go a little bit higher than that. And here's the pipe that we are supposed to enter. I don't think I'm able to re-enter it, or am I? Because I already visited, and the other pipe was already closed off. Maybe I'm actually able to show it off again. Maybe that thing is back as well. I mean, it could be, right? It's actually back! Oh my god, wait, I can actually show it off? Okay! Yeah, well, okay. Then let's just show it like that. <laughs> God, the other one is completely closed off. That's why I was a little bit worried about it. I wonder if I go, if it's going to crash again if I run into it. Oh, great Lord, our proud God, all shall shall bow under your might. Under such power and beauty, <laughs> only the lovable humans dare to control. No one can. No one. God only shows human their stupidity and pity. So if you don't do anything with it, it's going to stay the same as before. But if you rip his head off, let me stay close to it. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. 
yeah, it uh, transforms and actually it has a great insight. It can, it can spot me from over here. And if it touches you, it's going to kill you. And it's going to crash. If it are <laughs> able to do it. And as you can see, dashing doesn't work either. Okay, let's see. Am I going to crash again? Oh, I can dodge! Woo! <laughs> okay, come on. Come on! There. See? Glitch effect. Yeah, glitch effect. Very interesting, but I guess now it's going to be glow. Oh, wait! Maybe because of the glitch, or rather because it froze, I'm able to enter those areas again. But that's interesting. Let's go over to the last area then. So the last area is right over here through the lasers and in order to reach that we just need that little box here. So let me just quickly go up. I need to get rid of the lasers so that I'm able to touch the box. And yeah, it's, it's not actually from all the three parts I think this one is the easiest to get. Can look at that. Just go over here. Box a few times. And hit this. Then we wait for the box to rise. Uh, we need to go right over here. Wait. Push. There. Nothing else. Simple as that. Push it a little bit out of the way. Uh, stick on it. There we go. Now we just wait for the right moment. One, two. And there we go. This is the last secret area. And actually it's right over here. Yeah, okay. So basically because I crashed before the thing killed me, it got resetted. That's perfect, so then I can actually show you guys what was hidden down here. Now then, for the last memory. Extreme energy fluid. You would think they created it all by their punny self. Gullibagoons. What suckers. <laughs> it was all him. A masterful setup. Oh glorious lord. How our, our, our efforts will come to fruition. I humbly offer my body to you. A front row seat to witness the greatness unfold. So, now, now that I saw those three enemies and their three little memories, I came to a realization. Since it seems like the extreme energy fluid wasn't really created by Alara, or rather, she did create it, but I guess uh, that lord of them. Is the real master hi uh, mastermind behind it and he knew he knew it wouldn't be possible for any one of them to be able to control it and it seems like through the fluid he's able to come back to life or rather it seems like i'm not even sure what happened with those guys i mean it could be that they had the extreme energy fluids injected into their body right I mean, some experiment were involved with, with the extreme energy fluids flowing through them, and I think they got eaten alive by it? Something happened, I don't really remember all the memories. So, I guess uh, the thing is that Delara wasn't able to control it at all was because of that thing. And the pain that she experienced through it could be that she is trying to wrestle control of that thing because if you really if you really pay close attention if you remember the part with the machine when i was controlled by something and elera thought it was she really thought it was the machine but if you try to wrestle out of that control if you saw that there were tentacles trying to grab me right and I have the feeling those tentacle things is uh, the lord of them. 
because it was in the background. There's also another appearance of those tentacles. If I go back to the first boss, let me just quickly do that. After you kill me, are you going to crash again or are you actually going to kill me? Didn't crash. Perfect. Because that's also very interesting. Very, very, very interesting. So, uh, too bad that I cannot really cut scenes. The video is going to be a little bit longer this time around. Anyways, uh, also, if you try to go for the 100%, you need to scan all of those little mines. Even those guys on the walls. Even they have memories. From the per human perspective and the slime per <laughs> perspective of destroy free from the pain and all, you know? And that thing right over here, that thing also has memories. And the first one from them all, the top one. You only have one try to get it. If you fail, you're gonna get a game uh, right out you gonna get the ending. Oh shoot. I don't get it! Uh if you fail to get it. Then you need to try to fight over again. It's kind of annoying. Because really, you only have one try. Let me just quickly grab you. Don't really need to pay much. Oh my god. That part! It's always that part. Nothing else, just that part. Okay, why did you grab him? What? <sighs> okay, okay. Let me just quickly go to the end then. Seems like I, I don't really have the timing in anymore. There we go. Okay. So after you defeat the boss and hopefully manage to scan the mind, you see this cutscene. And if you pay very close attention, look at the background. Do you see that? Do you see the tentacles in the background of those slimes? I think, I'm serious, I think those black tentacles is the lord of them. It has to be. So that means it's always around extreme energy fluids. Even if they don't really notice it and they're completely distracted by it, it is around. So there's a chance that the first monster is also related to their lord. Because they completely lost control of themselves and piled them some, themselves up together. You know? It's it's very strange. And there aren't so many clue uh, there aren't that many clues around either that could help us out with that. Hmm. Anyways, uh, that's all I wanted to show you guys. And yeah, I don't know, I'm uh, going to put that in in the Flash? No, 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 no. I think I'm just going to make it a separate part. Two extra little parts. Yeah, that should be fine. Anyways, that was all. Also, if you do that, you get three, four extra achievements, I think. At least three. Every single one of those tentacles has the uh, tentacle monsters has one extra achievement for themselves. And I think only 6% managed to get them. Well, 